G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back again to test your defense with a problem from uh, this magical disappearing book called uh, Killing Defense at Bridge uh, by Hugh Kelsey. So let's jump in and take a look at this. So uh, here, what I want to do is give you the problem, but I want to get you to pause multiple times and work out what you know as we uh, go through each suit and see if you can solve it. Because sometimes in the book, it'll give you all the information and then say, okay, at the critical point, what do you do? But I reckon it could be useful to try and slow it down. So here, uh, the auction goes a diamond on by east, a heart by west, a spade by east, and then it went three diamonds by west, and then uh, three no trump. Okay, so uh, here's the auction. East has shown diamond spades, west has shown hearts and spades. We've got a nice uh, club suit here, so uh, we lead the ten of clubs. Dummy comes down with a two, five, four, two shape, and they have uh, 11 points. So at this stage, uh, it goes low club and partner wins the king, and then a club back and goes low. So I want you to tell me what you know about the club suit at this stage. So pause the video, try and work out what you, you know about the club suit going on here. So here, East uh, wins the ace and now leads the queen of diamonds. And that wins. And then the jack of diamonds, which wins, and a diamond and your partner puts up the king, ace. You need to come up with a discard. I want you to pause the video, work out what you want to discard and what you actually know about this hand. So in the book, they uh, discard a club and now comes a, a spade. So um, first of all, do you want to put on the king or not? And what do we know about the hand at this stage? So uh, this is the final, like, not the final puzzle question, but uh, do we want to put on the king or do we want to play low? This is the uh, real problem of the hand. Uh, so if you want to take some time, work out what do you want to do from here, again, pause the video, give it a good shot. And then I'll go through the solution in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we want to go up with the king here. So let's go through what we actually know at this stage. So uh, the first point that we pause, and when the ten of clubs lead and partner won the king, and then returned the three of clubs. So at that stage, what do we know about the club layout? Well, West has double to ace, and we've led the 10. Um, now, if partner had king, queen, they would have uh, put on the queen instead of the king. So straight away, we know Declara has the queen of clubs. The next thing that you want to look at is, does Declara have three clubs or four? Well, if partner had king, jack, third club, they should return the jack rather than their low one. And this is because it'll help unblock the suit. So imagine that um, we had six clubs to the 10. Imagine it went 10 to the king and then a low one back and it went queen, small, ace. Partner's jack would block the suit. We've already led the 10 of clubs. So partner already knows our clubs are good. So from three of them, they would win the king and return the jack to start untangling the suit. So partner doesn't have the jack either. So east actually has four clubs. We should be able to work out east has queen jack to four clubs. The second bit of information comes from, well, in diamonds, they played three rounds of diamonds with partner following three times. They've only got a four card diamond suit. Looks like they've got four diamonds. They've got four clubs. And in the bidding, they bid a spade. So they've got four spades as well. So here we should know their hand shape as soon as we found out they had four diamonds. And when we can deduce that they have clubs, it looks like they're either a triple four one or a four five four. Then when we know about the diamonds, we know that they're a triple four one shape. After that, uh, we need to work out what we want to do. Well, if we count declare as tricks, I've got four diamond tricks. I've got three clubs. I've got the ace, the queen and the jack. 
If they have the Ace of Hearts, they would have had nine tricks already, so it doesn't look like they've got the Ace of Hearts. But uh, if we let them have this Jack of Spades, they probably have the Ace of Spades, in which case that would be their ninth trick. So we want to hop up with the King here just to make sure they don't sneak their ninth trick. Then after this, they have a Singleton Heart, and we can beat this by coming out the Queen of Hearts. As long as their singleton isn't the ace, which we already know they would have had a way to make the contract if they had that, um, then coming out the queen will actually just crush uh, any singleton that they've got. So here it'll crush the singleton jack, and then we can lead again and partner will get two more heart tricks. If, we, uh, if they covered it, then because we've got the nine, partner can lead low back to our nine, and then uh, we can uh, still get their 10 of hearts there as well. So we can actually beat the contract there. So uh, I will open up all the cards so that you can see it. Okay, and uh, here's the whole hand. So here, when we led the 10 of clubs, when partner wins the king, we know East has the queen. And then secondly, when partner returns a low club, they shouldn't do that from king, jack, third, or um, any holding like that. So we know East has the queen and the jack, and we don't see any of those pop up. So at that stage, now we can narrow their shape down to a triple four one or five four four, given the bidding. And then after that, we see that they've got four diamonds. And once you count their tricks, they've got three clubs, they've got four diamonds. They have to have more points than the seven that we've actually seen. They have one of the aces. If they have the ace of hearts, they have their nine tricks straight away. If they don't, we can guarantee beating it by hopping in with our king of spades and leading our queen of hearts there. So I thought this was a real cool pr problem about inferring what you know from the lead, listening to the bidding to put the shape together, and then working out what Declarer's tricks are, and then where can we actually get ours. So hope you enjoyed this defensive problem. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.